kids, welcome back to Roto Talk. So here we go. We're going to start the Ugly Duckling today. Why not? It's Sunday. Uh, there's like 17 kids outside that don't belong to me. So I'm hiding. So if we get interrupted, that's what happens. So this is the Tugster 2. Okay. Uh, twin Tugster, sorry. From Zip Kits. Now, Again, this is not going to be a build video. I'm going to do very, very sad things to this boat. <laughs> I promise. So uh, please do not follow to the letter because uh, some of it's for the real build. But the twin comes with two rubber rudders, which is what I wanted. And I also wanted extra keels and all sorts of good stuff too. So, ooh, got to blow the beak here. So what we're going to do... We're going to take, excuse me, nose is running. We're going to make a left and right like that, okay? So, and we want a quarter of an inch-ish on each end. I built a few of these in my time, okay? We want just like that. Okay, so if you want to measure that out, just take a piece of wood that comes with the kit. Just make sure you've got a nice, fair amount. It'll be fine, okay? We're gonna be sanding it anyway, not have to get crazy. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take some wood glue, type bond three, and that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna laminate these so there's a left and a right. Burn edges go into the inside, all right? Simple, simple, simple. So we're going to use our crummy ass, these brushes, for this now I usually put the glue on the web side that way I can see where it's going try not to get it in those gaps if you can help it all right no. I'm not even gonna use a brush for most of this okay very simple and we're just gonna laminate these God. Kids. Other people's kids. <laughs> All right. And this is going to, see, I messed that up. Sorry. Right. This is going to sit pretty quick. Okay. Grab a salsa cloth here. And you can clamp this if you want to. I'm just going to use a weight. Make sure these edges are evened up. Okay. Just about like that. Just like that. And we'll just do a little bit of measuring here. Not too bad. I usually clamp these, but this will be okay too. I'm move it forward a touch. Okay. Rinse and repeat with the other side. Be right back. All right, so here we go. Our glue is good and cured. Been about an hour. For wood glue, I give it an hour. It's kind of cool out. It's about 58. So give it a little bit of extra time when it's cold. All right. So <clears throat> what we're going to do now, do our fancy dancy. All right. So we're going to take a square. Some medium CA, the usual routine. Hands are a little dirty, it's okay. You will not laugh, you will not cry. You will learn by the numbers, I will teach you. Now get up, get on your feet. You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and shit down your neck. So I'm gonna square it up here. This is a tugboat. This thing's not gonna be doing 100 miles an hour. If it does, I'm in deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to be quite as anal retentive about this okay it's a tugboat it's not the space shuttle and this is a tugboat that's probably gonna burst into flames the second that I, well, we fired up and that's okay 
this is just for fun this is a buddy of mine sent me that weed eater engine I was like hey and I'm like ah oh, I always wanted to do a gas or tug now we're not going to use this for rescue boat okay I have a, a tug that I use for rescue boat and I have a good rescue boat that I designed and built out of one of Joe's cracker hulls and I'm going to do an overview on that boat pretty soon because that's uh, a, uh, a guy out there named Barry emailed me a while back and uh, asked me about it because he saw that video where I was pulling in the kayak with it with my big ass on it and he's like hey I'm in a sail club sailboats RC sailboats and uh, I want to see a review on that rescue boat because man that thing we need to pull in some big boats and that would just be friggin perfect well okay I haven't done it yet but I did email you back Barry and uh, check your spam folder I emailed you back like the next day and said hey I'll do that for you but I want you to help me pick out a decent RC sailboat kit and uh, he never got back with me and I'm assuming he just didn't get my email uh, why else would you email me and not email me back so anyway uh, we're gonna do a review on the, t the tow motor tugboat well it's not a tugboat but it has a trolling motor on but anyway <laughs> sorry I'm gonna it's been a long day again um, so what we've got is I do have an electric tug the white one that you probably saw that I use for rescue some days not always actually almost never I just like t having a tug around the house it's just a little 3s and it's built pretty much aside from the 3d printing stuff it's built pretty much uh, the way it's supposed to be built but uh, the one I use for rescue is either my rowboat with my big ass in it with the trolling motor or I use a uh, my uh, trolling motor rescue boat that I made now it's kind of silly to even try to square these up because I can see they're already warped <laughs> it's okay it's a tugboat not the end of the world we're gonna CA this and then we're going to do the other side okay now we got some doublers that we need to do another thing I thought was interesting now, I don't know if Joe made my kit different so if you guys have built a twin tugster before let me know um, this is twice as thick as the normal bumpers for the normal tug maybe the twin tugster has that normally I don't know I've never built one of these before and I refuse to read the direction so um, I don't know so we're gonna double them up but again we're not gonna use this for a uh, rescue boat now see that I squared all those up but they're warped a bit. I get it. It's fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this other mirrored side. And we're going to just notch them in. This part can be a little painful. You need... Ah! Oh, yeah. Let's see that one out. You need six hands. Okay. This is not going to be... This is the ugly duckling. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to take that one because I can see it squared up. Do a little fillet. Do both sides. We're going to get this all tacked in. And then we're going to epoxy these. And then tomorrow we're going to sand these edges and uh, get everything copacetic in that regard. Okay, do the same thing with this side now. I'm not going to bother squaring it up. It's kind of silly. And they even tell you that when you uh, read the description of the tugster, either one, whether it's the twin or the single, the, the, the build's the same way. Uh, they say we use wood that isn't good enough for like the super sports or the. You know, it might have a knot here or there. And that's fine. I mean, come on. It's a tugboat. Not the space shuttle. Very, very, very simple build. 
And I recommend, I really will say, even if you you got dreams, you know, you go to bed at night and you just get done doing your thing. And it's like, oh, I'm going to build a, I'm going to build an ML Boatworks hydroplane, or I'm going to build a Blazer Marine hydroplane, or I'm going to build a Super Sport, or I'm going to build a, you know, a rigger from zip kits. You know, I'm going to build a super fast boat and blah, blah, but I've never touched a wood model in my life. Uh, okay, what I recommend you do, even though the tugboats are not fast, <laughs> obviously, they're very, very slow. They run off a 3S. Um, they have a very low uh, brushless motor in them in the stock ones. But I do suggest you build one of these. They're very, 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 very cheap. But it, what it does, and please heed this, you guys that have been watching my videos or maybe you're new to the channel or watch some other folks' stuff, um, buy one of these Tugster kits and build it and give it to your nephew or your niece or your kid uh, after you play with it for a while if you want to. I mean, they're not the most exciting thing in the world. But it gets you used to the epoxy process, the CA process, the wood process, you know, all this this stuff that we do, it gets you used to that. And if you've never built a wood kit before, it might not be the worst idea to do. Okay? Now, so there we go. Could have been a little bit better right there. So what we're going to do, take some medium, shoot it, and push it together. Medium CA doesn't cure instant like everything else does. All right, then we're gonna put in our front rockers and our backs. If I can find them. So let me find those real quick. Um, be right back. Back, so inner, inner, outer, outer. <clears throat> so these are, you have doublers, okay? So outer, outer, inner, inner. Basically, figure out which one fits what. So inner, inner. I should say this one here. Today, I went out there and uh, we're going to flush this up. Went down to the water. And I was going to get my rescue boat ready, my real rescue boat, my rowboat with the trolling motor that we use, the big, ugly, green monster, as I call it. And I was going to uh, maiden the V-Box, because it's beautiful out today. I ha actually have the uh, uh, doors to the shop open. Everything's nice. But I lost the cork. Those of you that know rowboats know that they have a um, a plug, a rubber plug that goes in the bottom, in the back stern, that uh, you can drain the water out when it rains and things like that. And for some reason, last fall I misplaced it. So without having an active rescue boat, I uh, did not have a good retrieval method in case something happened. So hopefully tomorrow we're going to do that. Okay. Okay, so these are the outers, and then the inners are going to go on the inside. Okay. Very easy. This is such an easy build. And that's, again, I'm not pushing zip kit stuff. <laughs> I mean, I know it seems like it because I always build zip kit stuff, but I really, really, really enjoy Joe's designs. And especially if you guys are getting new into boat building and i've talked to many guys that are not used to it. it's like oh i've never built a wood kit i have a buddy in my chat group um who's a really good friend of mine in california who's not used to building wood and i actually have one in germany too and they're used to fiberglass boats and it's like man if you want to get into wood stuff which is fun it's fun creating something almost from scratch and and uh doing it that way Buy something like this, even if you, if you totally screw the pooch on it. Costs 25 bucks or whatever, you know, it's very cheap. I'll put a description in the link, or a link in the description. Holy crap, all right. So we're gonna take some 30 minute epoxy and we're going to do these edges here. So I'll be right back. 
I love the smell of napalm in the morning. All right, for this, I'm going to use 30 minute because I'm done for the day. That does determine sometimes <laughs> what I use. And we're going to thin it just a touch. Not a lot. My little heart-shaped silicon cups. <laughs> Which I found out is a major pain in the ass to mix. But that's okay when they're heart-shaped. But it works. We're going to thin it just... Hang on. Fucking hot wife interruption. So, all we're going to do... I mixed up some 30 weight. I call it 30 weight. Okay. And we're just going to do these edges. These seams. Nothing fancy. Now... I am going to do a couple things different. Now, you'll notice, you might have thought through this video that I'm building a, a twin tugster, which I am not. We are not, because we're building this, right? We're building a monster. And if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, oh well. But uh, we're putting a gas engine in this, so do not follow this verbatim for what I'm doing, I'm telling you. Um, we're going to do a couple of things. I want to build it semi-normal. Like, all everything here has been pretty normal so far. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, it's like, I'm not pre-designing. I'm going to basically put in all these bulkheads like they're intended. And then I'm going to take the Dremel and butcher this thing after it's done. Because I don't know, I think I know how I'm mounting this stupid weed eater engine Chris sent me. <sighs> Hopefully it works. I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I, you know, but I think it will. At least for a while, so it'll catch this on fire. It'll be cool. Um, but, yeah. So we're going to be reinforcing the living hell out of these, uh, a little off. Um, we're going to be reinforcing the hell out of these things. And if it turns out great and I love it, then it'll be like, well, maybe we'll build another one and make it really, really, really nice. But in this case, me. Okay. And it's actually really square. I'm impressed. It's pretty good. Okay. That's it. So we're going to let these cook for, well, till tomorrow. And like I said, tomorrow our skiff kit comes. And Joe warned me. He's like, man, I'll tell you what. You build a skiff kit, man. You'd be hating life, son. It's the <laughs> They suck. We'll see. They pro it probably will, but I've built so many of everything else that I just don't care anymore. I want to build something new, and I love Joe's stuff, and the new stuff of Joe's isn't out yet, so I have to wait. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna, I, I do want to do a Blazer Backlash Gen 3 on this channel, too. And that's going to take a little bit more time, but uh, that's going to be a long video. That's going to be like, you know, 20 episodes. Whereas my stuff, I try to get done pretty quick. So tomorrow, what we're going to do is we're going to sand this all down. Okay, right here. We're going to sand this, and we're going to put the bottoms on. Uh, there's two pieces to the bottom. They stop right here in the middle section of this. We need to put a doubler in on that. And then uh, we'll put the top piece, or front and back. And then we're pretty much done. And then we're going to start doing some crazy mods to see how this nightmare, the ugly duckling tug, is going to work. Now, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I have to think about this here. The ballast on these boats, these little tugs, and I've built, I think this is my fifth one that I've built. Uh, you guys saw the white one in the other video. That's the only one I actually have left that's running, and we're building this one. But I built a couple, the Miss Beverly, the Uncle Ed, and a couple other ones before that. Um... The ballast, you need a ton of weight to get these things to. If you read the directions, it says mix a bunch of BBs with uh, with epoxy and then put it in the bathtub and fill it up till it levels out. And then da 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 da. Well, we're not doing that because um, this thing's going to have a gas tank and a big old gas engine in it. So it's going to have quite the. Uh, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> but you have to think about this. You know, we're going to have to carve this one out probably carve this one out maybe a little bit of that one we're going to 3d print i've got some ideas on how to mount this engine because it's not like mounting a zenoa a zenoa engine is very easy to mount because it's made for it whereas this is a freaking echo weed eater engine right so we got to be a little bit creative and i know the vibration these things take we got to be maybe i'll print it out of tpu which is a little bit rubbery um 
Yeah, I'm more worried about the heat than I am making it run. But we will see. So until the next time, kids, the Ugly Duckling episode one is over. Keep dry set up. Bye. Relax, don't do it when you want to go to it. Relax, don't do it when you want to come. Relax, don't do it when you want to suck it to it.